Hello everyone. Today we are going to do standard 9 part 2 chapter number 4 that is construction of a triangle practice set number 4.1. So let's start. Today we are going to learn how to construct a triangle with the given measurements. Okay. So construct triangle PQR is the first question in which QR is equal to 4.2 and angle Q is equal to 40 degree and PQ plus PR is equal to 8.5. Okay. So this is the first question from exercise 4.1 children. So first I will draw a rough figure and then I will explain you accordingly how I have taken the rough figure. See first is going to be 4.2 that is going to be our base. Okay. A rough figure is a must. Okay, so this I have to mark as Q and R that is supposed to be 4.2 centimeter. Okay, angle Q is 40. So, I will draw an angle Q. Children, the way I have drawn the rough figure in the same way I am going to draw the fair figure also. So, this is going to be the 40 degree as given in the question. After that, we have to join this line. This is supposed to be a ray because we have taken an angle. Then we have to construct an arc. This is supposed to be 8.5 till here. It is going to be 8.5 and we need to draw a perpendicular. Okay. Perpendicular and this and this line has to be equal. Okay. So this was S. Sorry, I forgot to mention it. I hope everyone has understood how to construct a triangle according to the given question. Okay. So over here few things that we have to remember that length of QR is 4.2 centimeter. Okay. And after that Q, P, this is supposed to be P children. Q, P and S is such that Q, P and S, P is in between Therefore, from this we get QS is equal to PQ plus PR is equal to 8.5 centimeter. Okay. So, from QS we are getting 8.5 centimeter by adding these two points. Okay. So, accordingly QS is equal to PQ plus PS. Isn't it? Therefore, PQ plus PR is equal to QS. Isn't it? We can change their places also. Okay. Now why we are taking PR instead of PS children? Why we are taking? Because almost they have, we have said that by showing these, these two lines that these two segments are congruent. Therefore we have wrote it. And this what I have written is very important. You all have to also write it. So after writing the statement what we have stated that PS is equal to PR. Okay. This is what we have stated from the given sentences. Okay. Now let's start with the construction. Construction is very easy. It's as same as we did last year. Okay. Now first we will construct 4.2 centimeter our base. Okay. So let's construct our 4.2 centimeter. 4 and 4.2. Okay. Name it as Q and R 4.2. After that we will mark our angle that was supposed to be 40 degree. So this is 40 degree. Okay, draw a bigger line children because we need to mark 8.5 on this line, isn't it? So, this is going to be my 8.5. Now, how are you going to show 8.5? For that, you have to use a scale and a rounder. Okay, so you have to take 8.5 which is going to come a little bigger. I think we have to take that line even more bigger. So this is going to be my 8.5. No, we don't have to take it. It's almost there. Okay, so this is our 8.5. This is our S point. Okay, 
this was our 8.5 okay now that you have got this point over here we can join our triangle okay so we have joined our we have almost got our figure done okay now what we have to draw we have to draw a perpendicular okay but for perpendicular what we need first we need to divide this line into two equal parts okay to draw a perpendicular in this way this for this we need to draw a perpendicular from this line okay so how are you going to do it you have to just move your book in this way okay take measurement take measurement such that it is more than half roughly you have to take draw an arc keep the same measurement keep it over here you don't have to change the measurement children draw the second arc okay i hope everyone knows how to draw a perpendicular okay now what we have to do is we have to measure the distance of these two arcs and then we have to construct the perpendicular line okay so you will see that we have got two different points so children when you get these two points what you all have to do is you all have to draw a perpendicular line from here okay okay so when you get this point what does that means that we have got a this sorry we have got a this segment also so from this point you have to join the point r okay now you will see that this line and this sorry this segment and this segment is equal we have got a figure that we have drawn for a rough diagram okay isn't it easy now let's construct the second one now for the second figure the measurements that they have given is we have to construct xyz triangle in which yz is 6 cm and xy plus xz is equal to 9 cm and angle xyz is equal to 50 degree it's almost the same that we did the first one children okay so let's draw the rough diagram according to the measurements rough diagram is a must as i said okay so let's draw the rough diagram first first the base that was 6 cm okay y and z this is 6 cm angle y is supposed to be 50 degree so we have to draw a 50 degree angle from here okay and then again a perpendicular and this line and this this segment and this segment is going to be same again and what is the measurement of y and m it is going to be 9 cm now i will show you how because see this is x okay this point was x so x y and x z is supposed to be 9 cm okay so this is also going if this line is going to be 9 cm along with this this and this is similar therefore this is also going to be how much 9 cm got it children don't get confused how we took this line as 9 cm we took this line 9 cm because this segment and this segment are congruent and what has they said that xy plus xz is equal to 9 cm means whatever the measurement is going to be of this segment the same segment is going to be or the same measurement is going to be of this segment as well therefore we have taken this line as 9 cm so now let's start with the construction so to start with the construction first we will draw the base which is supposed to be 6 cm so let's draw 6 cm okay this is my 6 cm base okay name it as y z 6 cm 
Y is supposed to be 50 degree. So, I will mark 50 degree. Okay, I have got my 50 degree measurement. So, I will draw a bigger arc because it is 9 centimeter children, isn't it? So, we will take a bigger line. Okay, I have taken this line. Now, what I have to draw is, I have to first construct a triangle. So, I will take 9 centimeter on my rounder. Okay, so my 9 centimeter is going to be from this point to this point. Okay, so you have to place one point over here and the other arc will come over here. Okay, so we have got our point join the triangle. Okay, half of our figure is completed. Do the marking that is 50 degree. Okay, this is 9 centimeter. Okay, according to the figure this was M so point M. Okay, half of a figure is done and as we did for the first sum, first sum, we need to draw a perpendicular. So, what you all have to do is, you all have to shift the book in such a way that you will get a perpendicular line from this. Okay, so again we have to take measurement more than half. Sorry, my book is not uh, coming over here. Yeah, just a minute, I'll adjust it. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to draw a perpendicular for that a distance of more than half is from this side and the same from this side as well. Don't change the distance. Okay, so once you get the arc, measure those arcs. Okay, is it visible? Yes. Now after this, you all have to draw two arcs in order to get the perpendicular line. Okay, so you have got your two points. Join these two points. Okay, so our perpendicular is ready. Okay, we have got a point over here, isn't it? Which is inside the triangle. But we can draw a perpendicular taking this measurement also. So how are we going to do it? See, using a scale, you all have to draw it and it should pass from this point. Is it clear? So, we have got our X point and this segment and this segment is going to be same. I hope you all have understood. This is very easy. You don't have to get confused for this construction. Okay. If there is any query, please let me know in the comment section children. Let's move on to the third question. So, question number three. We need to construct triangle ABC in which BC is equal to 6.2 centimeter, angle ACB is equal to 50 degree and AB plus AC is equal to 9.8 centimeter. So children first let's draw the rough figure. Okay, so rough figure as they have given accordingly we have to draw it. So, this is going to be my base. This is going to be 6.2 C and B. Okay. This thing I have taken but I have taken C in between. Why we have taken? Because C is supposed to be 50 degree. Okay. So, you have to be a little logical also. So, from C you need to draw 50 degree again. So, this is going to be my 50 degree. Then... You have to join the triangle and again a perpendicular. Okay, from here you have to draw a perpendicular. Again the same thing, these two segments are going to be congruent and 9.8 centimeter. This is going to be a C and M 
and this is a T segment. This is going to be a A and B. Now see A and B and A and C. A, A, B and A, C together they are going to make 9.8. But if this segment is congruent to this segment that means this whole line is going to be how much? 9.8 centimeter. So again let's start. You have got your rough figure. From the rough figure first we will draw the base that is supposed to be 6.2 centimeter. Okay. So I will draw from here that is 6.2 centimeter. 6.2 centimeter and name it as CB. 6.2. So from C point you have to mark 50 degree okay this is going to be 50 degree again we will take this line a little bigger because the length of this line is supposed to be 9.8 according to the rough figure so I will draw a bigger line in this way is it visible yes now it's visible okay now take a rounder take your 9.8 measurement 9 Point eight centimeter. Yes, we have got it. Keep it on point C. Mark it. Okay. After marking it, your triangle is ready. Draw this. Okay. Name this as 9.8. Naming is important. So, this is going to be your N. And now, again, as I said, twist your book. You have to twist your book in this way. Okay, in order to draw a perpendicular, so take a distance of more than half, draw an arc, draw an, another arc from this point as well, take the measurement of these two, draw the other two arcs. Okay, you will see that you have got two points. Join these two points. Let the line intersect. Okay. Now, our perpendicular is ready according to the figure. Isn't it? Now that we have got our point, which point we have got? We have got this intersection point, isn't it? So, join it. Okay. Now, this segment and this segment is congruent. This is 50 degree. Your diagram is ready. Okay. I hope you all are understanding it. It's very, very easy. Now, question number fourth and question number fifth is the same. Children, you all have to try it on your own. There is nothing much to do. Same kind of figures. Just a moment, let me focus. Same kind of figures, uh, the other three questions are also having. So, don't worry about the measurements. Take the steps that I have shown you all during this. Yeah, now it's focusing. Okay, so same steps you all have to do for question number 4 and question number 5 also. Okay, I hope you all have understood how to construct a triangle with the given measurement. If there are any queries, please let me know in the comment section. Okay, and uh, algebra playlist is ready on the channel. You all can go and watch for the revision of uh, chapter 1 to chapter number 4. Okay, so see you in the next video. Take care. If there is any query, please mention in the comment section. Take care. Bye.